Hi everybody, I'm Gary. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Uh, well, the wife's gone shopping, so it's time to get rocking today. And we're looking at one of the greatest rock songs of all time. Um, the fabulous Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen. Um, I think this song's got everything. It's got power, a kind of innocence um, and honesty about it. Um, you know, it talks about sort of grinding it out in your job all week and then getting out at night in your car, chrome wheels, fairgrounds, finding first young love. It's just got everything. It's, it's just an amazing, amazing song. And we're going to break down every single bit of the guitar, make it really easy. I'm going to give you some options uh, for easier chords or some, you know, slightly more advanced chords and different voicings for the chords. Uh, and we'll get in and up close to look at that. So just before we do get uh, close up, uh, just a few tips on tone. Um, I've got standard tuning. I've got a little bit of tremolo. If you've got tremolo on your amp or on an effect, it's quite good for that sort of... for the riff. But you don't, you don't need it, but it's, uh, it's, it's nice to have if you've got it. Um, I've got a little bit of... A bit of grittiness and gain through the amp. Um, just before we do get close up, um, this is still a fairly new channel. I've got tons of content planned for electric and acoustic guitar. So please, please, if you haven't already, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. It's going to help me to grow this and put more material out there. Anyway, let's get into this one. We'll get nice and close up. Okay, so we're in and up close now, and we're going to start with that famous opening riff, which is around an E chord. And the riff really just takes uh, the chord at first, and then it just takes some single notes from within the chord. So the fifth string at the second fret, third string at the second fret, and then down to the first fret. And then the 5th string, 4th uh, fret, single note, 4th um, string, 2nd fret, up to the 4th fret. Okay, next we've got the verse chords, and here we've just got um, three sort of muted power chords. So starting with an E5, so I'm just holding down really just the, the sort of fourth and fifth strings, just at the second fret there, and I'm just chugging away really on the lower strings. So even though I'm holding down these strings, I'm not really playing them, I'm just muting them with the palm of my hand. And I'm also, you'll notice I'm accenting sort of every other one. To give it a bit of sort of groove as it goes through. And then we go up to an A5 power chord, which is just an A barring across there with an open A string. Again, I'm just sort of playing it from the A string there. And then we go up to a B5 power chord. We can play it like that. Using the, uh, the A string or the B note on the second fret of the A string as the root. So that's the verse. Towards the end of the song, for the very last verse, instead of chugging those chords, there's more of a sort of full... like the riff really so it's uh, it's not a, a sort of um, scaled down version of the chords at the end it's sort of full on but for the first uh, two verses it's just this sort of okay so they're really straightforward chords for the verse so far um, 
Next comes the middle eight, the sort of uh, part where the, the lyrics go, sprung from cages on Highway 9. And here, there are a couple of options really as to how you can play it. There's loads of people in Bruce's band and I'm sure they're all doing different things. So there's different chord voicings. It's probably gonna depend you know, on how many people are in your band, how you want to play it. Um, so first of all, we've got a, an A over E. So I'm just, I'm holding an A chord there. You can see at the fifth fret, I'm holding down the second string, then the third string, sixth fret, and the uh, fourth and fifth string at the seventh fret. And I've got the two open E strings, the low one and the high one. And I'm just really playing it actually from the A string but I'm letting the open E string ring out for the first string. It's sprung from cages on Highway 9. You can sort of uh, accent those first two strings. Let them ring out and jangle. And then we go down to a C sharp minor. Uh, it's actually technically C sharp minor over G. I think they must play the, the G that right down at the bottom, but I tend to just play a C sharp minor. So it's just really an A minor shape there, but we're holding down the, uh, the C, you've got C there, C sharp on the A string. And then I'll just show you like the, an easy sort of core chord way of doing the next two bits. So you can go to uh, an F sharp minor. So you've got E minor there, F, F sharp, so, uh, sorry. Back to C sharp minor, and then back down to an E. Okay, so if you're playing in a band maybe with just one guitar, I would suggest that might be a good way of doing it because those are fuller chords and they'll fill the sound out on your own. If you've got more people in the band or you've got a second guitarist and certainly with keyboards, then I'll show you how I think they play it in the band, how Steve plays it. Um, I'll show you that now. Okay, so I'm going to look at the same section again, that middle eight, but just with slightly different chord voicings now. Some of them are the same. So we've got the same chord to start with, which is the A over E. And then we go to our C sharp minor. That's the same, really. Or you can play the G. But I, I tend to just stick with E. And then here we've got, I'm just going to take off that finger and sort of play the root note um, with my first finger. We're now on F sharp. So I'm just playing, I've got the, uh, the first string open still, second string at the fifth fret, um, I've got the third string at the sixth fret, and the fourth string at the fourth fret, and it sounds like that. It's a bit like our F sharp minor. Okay. Then back to our C sharp minor. And then here we go, instead of going down to our E, I showed you the basic E before, we can do an E chord. So if you think you've got D, E flat, and then E there with a D shape. So really, all we're doing is taking part of those, that D chord, and we've got our G sharp in the bass there. So altogether, that part would sound like this. I'll play it really slowly. Back to C sharp minor, and then we go to this E with a G in the bass. And then we finish up with a D6 over E, which is really easy. We're just at the seventh fret, and I'm just barring all the strings, but I'm, I'm playing it from the A string. 
So that sounds a bit weird on its own, but it does sound right when you've got the whole band playing and all the keyboards and everything else going on. It's a great section, uh, different ways of playing it. So just to recap, if you want to do the different chord voicings, it's the same A over E to start with, down to our C sharp minor, third finger off to get the F sharp, third finger back on, back to C sharp minor, and then we've got our um, E over G sharp. That's our D over E again. Two measures um, of all that, two, two verses, two of those middle eight sections, and then we get the sax solo, and for that, um, you've just got the, the same chords going on as you've got in the verse, but I would just roll the volume off a bit, and rather than, you know, you can chug it, or you can sort of maybe strum a bit more just uh, when the sax is playing. Towards the end of the sax um, solo, we get a, a C sharp minor. Just stop on that chord. So that goes from a B, B5, down to an E. And then a B minor 7. So if you don't know that, it's just a B minor, but I'm just taking off my, my pinky. Barring across all the strings at the second fret, I'm holding down the second string at the third fret and the fourth string at the fourth fret. I'll just play through that part slowly to the end of the, the sax solo. So. And you can let that, you can let that ring out for a moment. Really nice chord. Okay, so after all of that, we've got, I suppose it's another middle eight, really. Um, it's the, the section where the, the, the keyboards are more prominent, the guitar's probably less prominent in the mix. Um, um, beyond the Palace, Hemi Power Drone, Scream Down the Boulevard, that part. Um, and here we've got sort of four different chords, D, G, A, and C. But for each one, we're gonna play a sus four and then back down to the basic chord. So for the D, that's our D sus four. So it's a D, but I'm holding the first string down at the third fret. You can play it like that. It sounds kind of nice, like a arpeggio style. Or you can sort. And then we take that up to um, a G sus4, uh, which is, uh, so if you think of a G chord, um, we can, that's a G chord, uh, so I'm just holding down the, the G root note on the fourth string, uh, fifth fret, third string, fourth fret, and then I'm just barring the first and second at the third fret. That's a G. Just strumming it from the G, I'm not playing the uh, the A or the B string. 
and that's a G sus4. I'm just holding down with my pinky the third string at the fifth fret. And then all we do is slide that up to an A, sus4 to an A. And then up to a C. So I'm at the, the, the C, I'm sorry, where the, the C uh, root note at the, the eighth fret there. Um, for those chords, you can, um, you know, when you get used to playing these chords, you're mainly playing the first four strings. But what you can do, um, you notice I've got my thumb just over at the top. You can sort of mute, you can play the sort of a hint of the, the, the B bass note with your thumb there. But you've got to just be careful to mute, mute the, uh, the A string uh, so you don't want that coming into it. Okay, so the song's really building up now, it's getting bigger and bigger, uh, and next comes a really mad part, it's a kind of solo I suppose, but it's, it's more of a kind of... It's like just going from the hammering on at the, uh, the sixth string, playing like sixteen, so uh, one and two and three and four and five and... You can accent them like you do in the rear. And then it slides up to the fifth on the E string, and then the third on the, uh, the A string on the fifth string. And then we stay on that, that's a C note, on the A string there. does it all again. We stay on the C and then we just, just at the end, uh, it goes up to the fifth string which is a D note. And just sort of bends it slightly off, I mean it's just something in the original recording, I don't think you have to do it in the band if you're playing in a band but you know, that's, uh, that's what's on the original. And then you kind of just go through all that again. And then we've got this sort of... Um, Just walking up on the sixth string from the second fret. Two, three, four, five, and then back to two. And then on the fifth string, second fret, walking down to an open A. Back to the sixth string, fourth fret. Four, three, two, and then on the sixth string, one to an open, back to the A string, sixth fret. I'm just 
just walking down every fret from the sixth. And you stay on that C note on the third fret. And then we land on the B. You can sort of build up there. And then we're back on for the final verse. And that's where you play the sort of full chords with the riff rather than the chugging. Yeah, highways jam with broken heroes. And a last chance power driver. So we're nearly there now, there's an outro, um, they're all chords we've seen before, it's just um, it plays the chords in a slightly different order, just sort of build up just before the song really finishes. So it's sort of that part, um, our A over E, Someday Girl, I Don't Know When, I'm going to get to the place that we really want to go, that part, so we've seen all those chords before, down to the E over G. Back to the um, C sharp minor, and then our B, uh, sorry, A up to the B. But instead of going back down to the riff, we just sort of we go, we repeat the whole thing from the E C sharp minor. You can think of it like that. Or we're playing the either. You can play it as a bar chord. I, I, I prefer to play it with the with the open E. So it sounds a bit like this. So if you're familiar with the song, you'll you'll know, uh, you'll be able to put that in context. So that's it, that's Born to Run. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Thanks again for joining me. I really appreciate you looking at the channel, watching the videos. Please, please give me a like and subscribe in YouTube if you haven't already. Um, it really helps me to grow this. And thanks for all your comments. I've had some really nice comments so far. It's still a young channel, but um, I love getting your comments and I've I reply to everyone, so please, please, uh, you know, if there's things you want me to cover or comments, feedback you want to give me, then, uh, then please get in touch. In the meantime, enjoy your guitar playing, and I'll see you soon.